touching message will of Jonathan sent to Nigerians. Nigerian former president and Buhari's predecessor, President Gulag Jonathan Ebele, has released a heart touching message to the world today on World Press Freedom Day. Dr. Gulag Jonathan Ebele, who was the Nigerian president before the administration of General Muhammadu Buhari, tweeted on World Press Freedom Day, May 3rd which is the World Press Freedom Day in Nigeria. He urges all citizens to appreciate what journalists have been distributing in terms of global peace and development. According to Dr. Gulag Jonathan Ebele, on World Press Freedom Day, we call on governments and citizens to appreciate the distributions of journalists to global peace and development, respect their rights and ensure their safety, especially now that they find themselves on the front line of battling the COVID-19 virus, he said. Here are the screenshots of Dr. Goodluck Jonathan Ebele Street. He said, we, can, we call on governments and citizens to appreciate the contributions of journalists to global peace and development, respect their rights and ensure their safety, especially now that they find themselves in front line of battling the novel. We do not think about this former president. Will Jonathan's message. What do you think about it? To me, I think it's a good one. He's trying to advise the world. Despite they are celebrating, despite the celebration of Freedom Day, they should not relax themselves. They should remember that this battle is still ongoing. They should not be relaxed and um and keep um thinking that there's no virus anymore. Before you know it, the virus would definitely um affect them if care is not taken. It also said that the government and citizens to actually appreciate the distributions, the contributions that the journalists that have con that they, they have contributed to global peace and development of this um, nation. And he, he also said that they should respect their rights and ensure their safety, especially now that they found themselves on front line of battling this novel. So viewers, that is all I have to say. I don't have much to say concerning this. Gulag Jonathan is trying to advise the world on how to tackle this pandemic. So it's now late for Nigerians to listen.